Good evening, ladies and gents. I'm your host, Khalil Brathwaite of the Khalil the Highlight Sports Report, that is. Today, coming to you live at Lisa Virginia, and today I'll be talking about the huge announcement concerning Paul Heyman and Eric Bischoff. I will talk about three players in the Lakers that are being traded to the Lakers. I'll tell you who that are being traded to the Wizards. I'll tell you who they are. I'll say that that CB3, Chris Paul, that is, was spending time was on vacation at the Bahamas, and he ran into Danica Patrick and Aaron Rodgers there as well. And the Giants rookie, DeAndre Baker, gets his mother a uh, Bentley. And I'll tell you that a um, a Canada-based tourism company is making an offer to Kawhi for an all-expenses-paid trip to, to the island if he stays there, that is. And the city of Rock and city of Toronto, Toronto suspends basketball hills from being rumored. I'll tell you why that is, and many other details to come. And also, I'll tell you who the All Star Game starters are for the AL and NL. Who they are, by the way. So I'm gonna get you. To, I'm gonna get you guys to it done. I'll tell you the college that um the men's team USA men's saga they beat Panama. That is. One or nothing that is, and I'll tell you though that Vandy won their about that for sure, about their second College World Series title since 2011. I'm gonna get you guys to it right now, ladies. But I do want to start thing start things off with a breaking news announcement, and this is a good one, and this is something that many people didn't see coming. That is, and it was announced earlier today. Paul Heyman and Eric Bischoff, they are they are gonna be the executive directors of Raw and SmackDown. Now, Paul Heyman is the executive director of Monday Night Raw, and Eric Bischoff is the executive direct, director of SmackDown, that is, which will be overseeing the creative de- development of WWE's flagship programming, integrating on all platforms and lines of business to establish WWE's ability to reinvent its, to reinvent its integral, excuse me, its global brand, providing two creative processes for both flagship shows so Paul Heyman was the president of um, ECW back in 93 to, to 2001 Eric Bischoff used to be managing WCW and then he was being manager of WWE as well so he he did it back in WWE as one of the um, general managers of WWE as well but that failed miserably by the way and even though they're both Hall of Famers, make no mistake about that. But, you know, I will say that this is a pretty much a good honor. And who knows what future ways. I know they're going to be executive directors of Raw and SmackDown, I'll tell you that. Overseeing the creative development of WWE's flagship programming for Raw and SmackDown, that is. So, don't mess on that. You can catch more. Live on the WWE.com or WWE Network if you want that is for that. So that's all I got for that. So Paul Heyman and Eric Bischoff are the executive directors for Raw and SmackDown. Overseeing creative development of WWE's flagship programming. Integrating on all different platforms. Lines of business. Establishing WWE's ability to reinvent its global brand. Providing two creative businesses for both flagship shows. So that's all you need to know for that just for now. Another time I do want to want to address that Vanderbilt men's baseball they have won their second college world series title since 2011 congrats to them on that historic victory by the way in all four appearances since 2011 that is by the way so congrats to them on that and that's the big that's the best news yet so that's good news right there now and also another others I do need to address by the way that Three Lakers players have been traded to the Wizards. Morris Wagner, Isaac Bonga, and Jamario Jones. They have been traded to the Wiz, which is part of a three-way offer that had AD traded to Lakers. This clears for a max salary. Also, max salary space and free and free agency, that is, by the way. AD is intending to waive his four mil trade bonus, pushing the Lakers cap space to thirty two mil for 
stating stating free agency process that is. So Lakers are gonna send a future second round pick to the Wizards with three players. Wizards are gonna send the Guap to the Pelicans, that is by the way. So in other words, Tarantula may be one of those guys. Kyrie Irving, Kemba Walker, maybe one of those guys to fill in for the Lakers, so who knows? Who knows who that third man's gonna be? Who knows if it's gonna be Kyrie Irving? Who knows if it's gonna be Jimmy Butler? And more specifically, who knows if it's going to be the unrestricted free agent, Kevin Durant, who's got a bit of a um, ruptured Achilles injury. So Lakers, they're going to define, they're going to define some teams. So whoever, they're going to find somebody. So you never know if, Durant, if Durant's going to do the unthinkable. You never know if Kyrie Irving's going to do the unthinkable because everyone talks about him going to the Knicks, the Nets, and the Clippers. Now for Durant, that is, he has the option to sign a 4 mil offer with a team that he's going to get traded to, whether it's going to be the Knicks, the Nets, nor the um, Clippers, nor if he's going to intend to stay with those troubled, those trashed up, those washed up Warriors who have a five-year, 221 mil offer extension, that is. So the best option, I said this before, for Durant is to have him Leave the Warriors. Have him sign a four-year offer, 164 mil offer, with neither it's the Knicks, the Nets, the Clippers. No Lakers. Who knows? So that's something I'll let you guys know about that for sure. So free agency is going to be this coming Sunday. That is, by the way, ladies, it's at 6 p.m. Do not miss on that. It's must see, must watch. So all eyes on that. Others I do I do need to address, by the way. That uh, the city of Toronto, that Toronto, this is something that I pretty much can't describe right now. The city of Toronto, they have decided to suspend the basketball hoops from being removed following community backlash of public space, racism, and municipal po- politics. Now look, let the guys let the guys play ball. I mean, what they what that what that was was blatant disrespect. It really was, and I'm ashamed of that. Now. I would be ashamed. They would have done that if Kawhi Leonard left the Raptors. You, I mean, you couldn't do that just days after Raptors won their first NBA title. No, that's not how it works. It could have happened if Kawhi Leonard left the Raptors. But he's staying. He's staying where he's at, so... Let the guys play ball. Let them enjoy themselves. Let them have a good time playing people in Toronto and and all the other cities from all over the country, around the globe, that is. Let the guys play ball. So that's all you need to know. That's all. So that right there is this blatant disrespect. And I hope Kawhi Leonard stays where he's at with the Raptors and avoids rims being pulled out. I mean, rims, I mean, I've seen, yeah, look, I've seen folks shatter rims, doing amazing dunks. I've seen that. But pulling them down, come on. Just ridiculous. I mean, in Toronto, not so good. Raptors already won their first NBA title. Why would you so why would you want to pull rap so why would you want to pull rims down for no reason? That's why the backlash of racism and public space and municipal politics due to the fact that Raptors won their first title. Why would you want to do something like that? I mean, it could have happened if Kawhi Leonard left, which is certainly not gonna happen. But, you know, there's no need for that. Let the guys play, all right? So let the guys play. And Kawhi Leonard's going to stay. And I'm, I'm going to move on to that for sure. So a Canada-based comp- tourism company is going to make an exclusive offer to Kawhi for an all-expenses-paid trip to the island if he stays with the Raptors. Now, he's currently on vacation with his uh, wife, that is Kishel Shibley, on a um, great big marble boat in Barbados. He's out enjoying himself. So the best option for him to do is stay, it's for Kawhi Leonard, is stay where he's at. The Raptors, however, they're going to give Kawhi Leonard a five-year, 190 mil extension to stay with the Raptors. 
So that's good news. So that right there would be big good news for, for Kawhi Leonard. And at some point, and there is really no way that Kawhi Leonard is leaving the is leaving the Raptors. He's not leaving the Raptors. No, he's not. He's gonna stay where he's at, and it's gonna once again win that t- and win yet another title. Two time MVP for the Spurs and Raptors. Make no mistake about that, which he is. But you know, some claw and order's gotta be made, but Kawhi Leonard will stay where he's at, whether everybody likes it or not, so that's all I got for that, ladies and gentlemen. That's all I'm going to say right there. Now, moving on to another topic I do want to address. The Giants rookie by the name of DeAndre Baker got his got his mother a new Bentley. So what an honor that is. You can check out the video that is on ESPN and Twitter, TMZ Sports, YouTube, if you want to that is. So that's pretty good news right there. I'm not sure how much that Bentley even cost, by the way, but, you know. Something that made people feel good about, I'll tell you that much. Another topic I do want to address, by the way, is the fact that um, CB3 hung out with Danica Patrick and Aaron Rodgers while, they, while he was spying them on a boat, that is. And he had a long talk with um, CB3. Chris Paul had a long talk with Aaron Rodgers and Danica Patrick, that is, to avoid being in the, in the uh, Rockets drama, that is. So basically, they gambled in the Bahamas at the Baja Bar in Nassau and they were at the high high rollers section. So this could be something this is really really cunning to me. I find this very intriguing to me. Even though I don't do sports bids, but I can tell you this right now that whatever C B three does, I mean gambles his way out of Rocket Drama. Look He's a soon-to-be Hall of Famer. I'll tell you that, future Hall of Famer. But I could tell you this, that CB3, his future is is uncertain for now. So I don't know what CB3 is going to do, whether he can stay with the with the Rockets or it's going to leave the Rockets. So, I mean, the first, there was a little bit of some tension going on between James Harden and CB3, that is. Now, even though they were good teammates, but they haven't gotten the same page. But it is obvious that, um, you know, it's really no sooner that CB3 wants out. I mean, gambling his way out of the Rockets? Come on. Now, if that, if that was the case, I'd be the guy telling you that. If he tended to want out, that is, so, that'd be a surprise. So, you never know who it's going to be. You never know CB3 is going to stay with the Rockets or it's going to leave the Rockets. And I'm not sure where he's going to go. What destination is best for him. So he's got a decision that he's got to make, though. Stay with, stay with the Rockets or leave. So he's that's what he's got to do right there. So that's the decision that he's going to make right there. He may do so before before three days, this Sunday, that is. So during free agency, which is free agency, by the way. So that's something that a lot of you guys are going to pay close attention to, by the way. I'll tell you that right. I'll tell you that just right now. That is. So, yeah, that's all I know. Now, don't forget, guys, that free agency is gonna be this coming Sunday night. That is at six p.m. Do not miss on that. A lot of big names are gonna be staying and going. Who are they gonna be? And that's all you need to know just for now. Now, I do want to name. I now move to another topic. I want to address. I want to name the MLB All Star starters for the AL and NL. That is. Now it's gonna now this year's um, All Star MLB All Star game was gonna be at, at Cleveland's Performant Progressive Field on July 9th, That is, I'll name you guys the starters. I'm a, and the AL starters. The All Star game will be Gary Sanchez, Carlos Santana, DJ Lemani Hugh, Jorge Polanco, Polanco, Alex Bregman, Mike Trout. George Springer, Mike Brantley, and Hunter Price. The NL starters, ASU starters, will be Wilson Contreras, Freddie Freeman, Cattell Marti, Junior Bays, Nolan Arnado, Christian Yellick, Cody Bellinger, and Ronald Acuna Jr. So those are your starters 
for the uh, AL and NL All-Star Game, on which you can see on July 9th, that is. Do not miss on that. So the MLB All-Star Game is going to be Cleveland's Progressive Field July 9th next month, that is. So do not miss on that. It's a must-see. It's a must-watch. So keep us updated on that, though, by the way. I keep us more on that. Now, another thing I do need to point out, by the way, it's the fact that um, LeBron James and some of the guys, some of the other guys were team were filming for Space Jam 2. You saw the likes of King LeBron James was there, and Clay Thompson was on crutches, was crutching his way to hug LeBron James. That is Clay Thompson, who's got a bit of a, a who's got a knee injury. You saw Damian Lillard, Anthony Davis. And Draymond Green. So, it's really surprising. This may surprise a lot of people, though. I mean, e- now, even though Clay Thompson's future is very uncertain, though, he could stay with the Warriors, which, I mean, Warriors, they look like trash. Or maybe he could, maybe, he could go to the Clippers, the Lakers. So, Clay Thompson's one of those guys. So I'm not sure what decision is going to have for him, but who knows. Now, Kemba Walker, that is, Celtics, they got an eye on him. Now, if Kemba Walker was traded to the Celtics in exchange for Kyrie Irving, now Kyrie Irving, that is, he has some options. He can go to the Lakers, probably not, with LeBron James Arena. he go to the Knicks with R.J. Barrett in the mix. Even Kevin Durant was there. And the or nor, nor the Nets. It could happen. It could happen right that in an instance. So you never know what Kemba Walker is gonna do. So you never know for sure in the sense you we you never know if he's gonna stay or if he's gonna go. So who knows what decision is gonna make in just three days by this Sunday free agency that is. So that's something you guys are gonna wonder about right there. Now I also want to say happy birthday to the former May Young Classic competitor. Kimber Lee, birthday today, by the way, and uh, so when said birthday, send your birthday wishes, shout out to her, by the way, and also want to say happy 35th to Khloe Kardashian, because her birthday was, um, is today right now, the huge milestone, even though Trish Thompson cheated on her with Jordan Woods, but guy that gets together, so... Chloe, so Khloe Kardashian and, and Tristan Thompson, they're not dating no more. That's it. They're done. So Khloe Kardashian's going to enjoy herself and just who knows what who knows what her future holds. So who knows about that? I hope she has a good birthday, but hopefully it turns out right, by the way. So never know about that. Well, ladies and gents, that's going to do it right there for the Khloe the Hubble Sports Sport. Make sure to subscribe to the Khloe the Hubble Sports Sport YouTube channel, face page by any means necessary. All you gotta do is go follow. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, on face on YouTube channel, www.youtube.com slash 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 Khalil the High Level Sports Sport slash, and then also on Facebook at www.facebook.com slash two thirteen capital K capital B slash. On Facebook, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, Tumblr. All the others for more exclusive details, highlights. Breaking news, train topics, developing storylines, live updates, all things sports related on the Khalil the Hubble Sports Board. And analysis reports. We got I got it all in store just for you guys and huge announcements. And developing storylines is all I got for now. So that's all you need to know just for now, though. Tell me what you also think of um, the All Star Game starters being named for the AL and NL All Star Game. Tell me what you also think of um, the three. What you think of Paul Heyman and Eric Bischoff being named the executive directors? Of Raw and SmackDown, let me know in the comments section. Send me your reaction, your tweet your thoughts on that as well. What you think of Deon? What you think of DeAndre Baker getting a um his mother a bent a new Bentley? Let me know in the comments what your reactions are. Let me join this Canada-based tourism company having um Quan Leonard having all expenses paid trip that is. To the island if he stays with the Raptors. Let me know in the comments section. Let me know if you think he's gonna stay with the Raptors or not. I'll I'll dread, I'll apply to that and respond. Be sure to let me know what you think of CB3 hanging out at uh with Danica Patrick and Aaron Rodgers in the Bahamas, gambling at the Bahamas. That is at the 
Baja Bar, let me know in the comments section. Some reaction, tweet your thoughts on that as well. Tell me what you also think of Kimber. And also say happy birthday to Kimber Lee's. Her, bir her birthday is today, by the way. Let me know in the comments section. Some reaction, tweet your thoughts on that as well. Send your birthday wishes and your responses down below. And send your birthday wishes to Chloe Kardashian's 34th birthday. 35th birthday, that is. So, send your birthday shout outs and your wishes to her, by the way. And Kimber Lee as well. Let me know what you think of uh, Morris Wagner, Isaac Bonga, and Jer Jer Mario Jones being traded to the Wizards, by the way. Through an offer that had Anthony Davis traded to the Lakers. Let me know in the comments section. Send me reaction, tweet your replies. And tell me who you think is going to go, who's going to be leaving in, free in NBA free agency come this Sunday. So let me know about that. I'll respond and address to that. And that's all I got for that, though. So I'll be back with more breaking news, showing topics, filming, so much live updates, a whole lot more, and huge announcements, everything sports related analysis topics details so exclusive details so that you, you need to know so that keeps you going motivated as ever so that's all you need to know so take care you guys you guys have a good evening bye bye